Yeah, she was looking for you, so uh, hi. I don't you head of the department. Hey, hey. I'm not the new head of the department, I'm oh. the head of the department. Uh, I was here in 2008. Were you here in 2008? I was here in 2008. Oh, do you mind if I shut this? Sure. Uh, my name's uh, David Valentine. Hi, nice to meet you. Have a seat. Thank Thank you. Much <laughs> 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 so you were here in 2008? Uh, I came in 2008, yeah. I did a master's in computer and internet technology. Fantastic. Well, I wasn't really, I'll explain why. Okay. So, no, no, very closed. Oh. Is this a, oh. this is a uh, okay. uh, delicate uh, operation? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so um, I was um, I was being said, um, to give you a wee bit of background about me. My name is David Ballantyne. I have two learning difficulties, so mm. my throughout my education it was rather difficult. Right. And uh, I went and uh, spoke to um, what's his name, um, the ex first minister. Um, no, before that, um, Jack, Jack, uh, Jack McConnell, well done, <laughs> thank you, Jack McConnell, who uh, then brought in disability uh, students allowance for postgraduates, mm. so I was allowed to come back again. Right. So I was, I was doing fine, and uh, everything was going well, I was on course for yeah. my Masters, uh -huh. for, which was quite, a, it was going to be quite a feat, because my background is all in finance. Sure. So I was getting over 50% for all my exams. Mm. So I, had, I was in the top 13 business plans for all the universities in Scotland. Yeah. I was on the Stanford Link, uh -huh. uh, Edinburgh University link up mm. uh, for the venture capital. So I was on course for all. Mm. So because obviously I have these two learning difficulties, right. I got the Disability Students yeah. Award. And because I have these two uh, disabilities, uh, I finally got the, the award, which I didn't get the first time. Yes. I wasn't being successful the first time. And now, now I was, now I was getting over 50% and everything was going great. Yeah, there's a bit, isn't there? Yeah, but a massive bit. So, I then went to, um, I went to, that the night before, I was struggling because the coursework was getting yeah, yeah. intense. I was yeah. struggling, but I think that's normal. Anyway, struggling to get the coursework in. So I spent all the night before yeah. up mm -hmm. studying. And then all the next day I'd been in classes. Mm. At, at night... I had gone to uh, the, Sco uh, the uh, um, Scottish Institute of Enterprise mm. um, Awards uh, because I had been in the yeah. top 13. Mm. I had a £6.5 million pound project with mm. Alex Ferguson uh, to develop uh, drum chapel amateurs. Mm. And uh, I got in the top 13 mm. of all the, the students. Mm. So I had um, gone to the lab at night oh mm. and, and there was two... Uh, Girls, uh, one I think one was well, I think both were Indian, mm. uh, uh, as an in Indian in the South mm. South Asian, and uh, I we, we had all gone very well. I had given them my uh, headphones. Uh, I had a couple of drinks, but I wasn't drunk. I, I remember what had happened prior to that, and I fell asleep oh. on the desk in the lab. Oh dear! Right, I then wake up with three security guards around me. And I have no recollection of what had actually happened in yeah. between them. So I was like that, right, this is a bit weird situation, what is, what's yeah. going on? Because I had been so tired, I've got, I, I'm a very deep sleeper, mm. Mm. and I sometimes, I, very rarely, but if I've been uh, direct of sleeping, mm. I, um, I, I can, I, I can uh, not sleepwalk, but I, I, I don't remember what's yeah. actually happened yeah. in that sort of, my mum says I don't yeah. wake up, I come to so uh, it's, it's been well documented. So I then get pulled up the next day by Professor Gibb, Forrest Gibb. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forrest Gibb, sorry. Uh, and he says, uh, what happened last night? I said, I, I do not remember what happened yeah. last night. I, I, I don't think it would be very important. I said, you've got security cameras there. Why don't you look at yeah. uh, the security cameras? Because I was out, I was completely, completely comatose. Yeah. I, I, I'm a very heavy sleeper. I wouldn't, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have actually moved to the morning. So he said, uh, you did something of a sexual nature to these girls. Oh dear. Right? Mm. And I'm like that. Right, I, can, I don't remember any of this. So something of a sexual nature mm. happened. And... Uh, and this blew my mind because yeah. I I I've not got a recollection of the of the night. Yeah, something sexual happened mm. that that night, and I'm like that. 
that, that doesn't make very much sense because I wasn't, I wasn't interested in that and I, I was just concentrating on getting the Masters. I was then pulled up in front of the Deputy Dean yeah. uh-huh. and told to apologise. I yeah. said, I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I meant to have done. I, I have no idea mm. what's actually happened here. Mm. Uh, why am I getting pulled up? I said, oh, the last thing I knew I was asleep mm. and I'd given the, the girls a set of headphones to listen mm. to. Uh, why am I, I don't know, can you show me the statement? At least that way I've got something to, to mm. um, uh, relay this to. And he said, no, we're not showing you the statement. Mm. Uh, but uh, you, you have to apologise. I said, I don't know what I'm apologising for. So then, uh, a few months later, I don't know why it's taken about two or three months into the next term. I had other exams. My head was sparkled on the back of this. Um, I got to the next term, and you, and you, the university finally mm. could be boiled actually showed me their statement. Mm. And I said I didn't touch them or say anything sexual, so why did the university then tell me I did something of a sexual mm. nature? And the university didn't even mention mm. whether or not they had harassed me when I was sleeping. They didn't even bother because obviously they're female and of a, an ethnic minority. Mm. They didn't even bother actually mm. um, finding that out. Mm. So why did it take... So you've now destroyed the records, because it was 2008, you've destroyed these records, which is quite convenient for you guys. And uh, But in between, I didn't get my master's, um, which I was on course. I wasn't just on mm. course to get a diploma. I was over 50%. I was on course for my master's. And between then and not getting my master's, and now I've lost tens of thousands of pounds mm. um, because I've not had my master's. Mm. Uh, and... Uh, you guys have accused me of doing something sexual. When I read, well, hold on a second. when no, I, I no, 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 no. You as you university accused me of doing something sexual, and when I read the person's statement, all she's basically said is I bent over mm. outside in the corridor. I bent over. She she, she phrased it differently, but uh, it's not, it doesn't make sense. What she said is I tried to put my head between her legs. Yeah. But to uh, to be honest with you, if I tried to put my head between any of these legs, I would succeed if I was trying. Uh, I, I was in the same under-18 district trial with Kenny Logan for Glasgow. So uh, if I was trying to put my head between any of these legs... So she's exaggerated it. And you guys have made something sexual out of it and fucked up my masters. So, so so would you so 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 what so that's there's nothing. Well, I'm wanting to know what you guys are going to do. Why did you guys make for false sexual allegation? Okay. I'm talking about not you personally. Why did the university make a false sexual allegation when they had the statement? Right. So first of all, I don't know anything about the case, and I can't say anything. And clearly, it would be wrong if we could say anything. Um, but why would you? No, no, no. Forget that. Forget that. Just think about. Don't forget about me. Hmm. Think about. Why would the university say that I did something sexual mm. to somebody who I never touched and never said anything sexual to? Yeah. So why would they say that I did that? And why would it take two months for them to actually pro- uh, prosecute it? Or not prosecute it, but tell me what had actually happened in the first place? Why didn't they just say... Because mm. they just said that's absolute bullshit and, and carried on with my masters. Yeah. The whole th- situation, because you said I did... Or not you personally... The university said I did something sexual, completely fucked up my masters, which they would do normally. I mean, they're getting a uh, psychologist in because mm. Trump won in America. Mm. If you think you made a false sexual allegations is acceptable, why am I? Why is it okay for the university to uh, make false sexual allegations when they knew they, they must have spoke to her mm. and they must have known that this was this hadn't happened? Well, like I say, I don't know um, what the process were followed. I don't know anything about what anybody said. I don't know anything at all. Um, I mean, what I can say is, if you want to, you know, put your case down in email, send it to me. I've already um, done this with you guys, and you haven't done anything about it. Well, when you say you guys, I mean, I mean, you I'll let, let you talk now. So now you must let me. Yeah, talk. fine. If you want me to yep. get involved, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah. then. This is my first statement. Now, right, that's fine. That's fine. No, that's fine. I totally appreciate respect that. If you already, if you said you already made, got involved, the question is, who did you get involved with? Who did oh, you tell? It was a, an Irish lady we read here. Mm. Which year? Uh, I, oh, I don't know. It was a few years. It's been a, a few years. But I've been in Dubai for four years, so I've I right. am, uh, and I've been back for and, and I've came in in, in a several occasions. Was it a member of the department or was it a member of the faculty? Well, it wasn't you or anybody else because I know a lot of the guys in the faculty yeah. if they're still here from previously. So yeah. uh, I think it was something new that was after two thousand and eight. But let's do it your way. I think because you seem like a reasonable man. Well, I uh, <laughs> I but you have to remember. 
that when it came the last time, they said all the information has been destroyed. But I still think there are people with oral um, uh, things like myself right. who can actually tell you what actually happened. Mm. Um, so, well, I mean, for a start, th what you're saying is a serious thing. So it's it'll very be, serious. It'll be out of my hands completely. Yeah. There are university procedures, uh -huh. and I'm happy to collect the information, tell you what the process is. But can I, do you mind if I ask a question? Mm. It's not a sexual offence not to touch somebody and not to say anything sexual, correct? Well, to do nothing is clearly not an offence. Well, <laughs> so why, why was that? Why was well, it? I'm not going to okay. speculate because I was okay, not nice You know, I mean, I'm listening to one side of the yep. story. I don't know what else was said. I don't know what the people involved, the, the girls involved said. I don't know anything about it. All I can do is advise you that, you know, that I know that there are processes. We get mm. complaints from students about all sorts of different things, all sorts mm. of times. We have a thorough process. So... If you want to write, put this down in email. Yep. I will. I will probably discuss. Go straight to the faculty manager. Fantastic. You know, so quite often we try and resolve matters inside the department, but this is clearly of a order of magnitude greater. Uh -huh. I'll consult with the faculty manager. Uh -huh. Get back to you. Uh -huh. I, mean, I think that's all I can really say. It's, uh, but I mean, it's a pretty massive. The the university would make a sexual allegation when you're not touching or or, or, or uh, even doing that, and they should have told me a lot faster because this was a this was actually a non event. Mm -hmm. This was this was uh, uh, maybe, and I don't know. The the university never asked what she did to me because I was asleep. Because I was fast asleep, I, 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 I wouldn't have woken up, I was dead to the world, so I don't know the, what, yeah. what was actually done first. And they, the, the university at that time didn't even bother. Okay, so... So, can I just get your details in and yeah, send yeah, you sure. the things, please? Oh. But you've got to understand, I've lost tens of thousands of pounds. I understand, it's, uh, it's just traumatic it's not, it's not even the trauma, ah, well, the trauma was one thing, but... The, 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 Financially the, as well, yes, I uh -huh. Okay, I'll give you my email address. Okay, so if you write, um, if you basically just, you know, you write down the... the um, what happened? What you said, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'll discuss it with, um, I'd say, the faculty manager, who I, th I think that's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And we'll find, we'll let you know, and then we'll get back in touch and discuss the right process, because uh -huh. everything has to go through a uh -huh. formal process. Sure, I understand. I understand. So, hey. so I'll have an informal conversation first, and then we'll, go, we'll do things for No, I appreciate that. That's great. No, Thank you very really much. Sorry Thank about you. Your well, I mean, I, I, had, I had to already do the Masters twice because of my learning difficulties. I was up trying to do my best on that night. I was unconscious on the desk. And between that and uh, uh, what I was accused of, I mean, I mean, let me let me put it this way: if I accused you sexually, and I know, and I won't do this, obviously, having sexually assaulted me in this room, yeah. would you be quite happy with me destroying your life? Well, 